Good morning, everyone. This morning on Daybreak with rain over the weekend. Your morning commute could be a little wet out there. We're on the live drive to make you sh make sure everything is good as you head out the door today. Well, good morning and thanks for waking up with us. It's Monday, February 11th. I'm Lauren Barnes. And I'm Joe Morano. We are here to start another week. You're ready to go. Ready or not, here it is. <laughs> yeah, we don't really have a choice, right? So right. we're here to help you guys get out the door today. And uh, I don't know, I guess I was in St. Louis, so I didn't. I can't really tell you what happened over the weekend around here weather-wise. It was uh, nice in St. Louis, just cold Yeah, it was, until Sunday. Yeah, pretty cold here too, but I think luckily this morning, not as cold as we might have been worried about. Yeah, gloomy yesterday. Is it a little more gloomy today, Elisa? Yeah, we're going to have rounds of rain as we head through the afternoon. And the concerns this morning are some patchy to locally dense fog and wet roads. We've got mm -hmm. uh, some showers out there this morning. Dense fog advisories have been dropped because we haven't kept that visibility dense enough for long enough, right? But we still have some of that patchy fog out there. It's four miles visibility in Springfield, about one mile in Fort Leonard Wood, Rawa, a half a mile in Camdenton, and two in Branson. So we've got that patchy to locally dense fog out there this morning. We've got cloudy skies and a batch of rain moving through this morning. Most of this rain right now is to the south and east of I-44. We've got some locally heavy rain up around Houston and Texas County. Another batch of some locally heavy rain around Mountain Home. But most of it is light to moderate. And this is only one batch of a couple as we head through the day today. Look at the temperatures. We're all well above freezing at 39 in Springfield. Closer to 32 at Clinton. So we could have some isolated slick spots on the bridges and overpasses there extra time and space this morning. Uh, details on rainfall totals and flood watches. We'll do that in 10 minutes. And of course, we want to get a look at your those road conditions out in the mix there. That's where we check in with Hannah Zettel, right? Yep, she's live on our Color 10 Live Drive to check out some of those slick spots that Elisa had mentioned could be there. Hannah, what have you guys seen so far? Good morning, guys. Yes, we are out on the road right now. It's drizzling a little bit, <clears throat> not cold enough to really freeze the roads, <clears throat> excuse me, but it is wet. So definitely when you are leaving today, give yourself time, slow down, make sure that your tires have good traction, make sure that your windshield wipers are up to speed, make sure, you know, everything you would need when you were normally driving in the rain. It's not coming down too hard right now, but it is drizzling. Um, a couple of counties to the east of Springfield, those more rural counties will have flood watches today. So if you do come across standing water, don't drive through it. Definitely take your time, go around those areas. Make sure to not ignore barricades. If something's barricaded, do not drive through it. Again, make sure that your tires are good and your windshield wipers are working because you're gonna need them on your way to work today. We'll be back later, but from the Color 10 Live Drive, Hannah Zettel, Ozarks First. Thank you, Hannah. And some more local news now. A bill that's looking to rezone 1.18 acres of property on East Cherry Street and South Pickwick Avenue is on the agenda for tonight's city council meeting. The bill aims to rezone this family from multifamily residential districts to planned development. The Roundtree Neighborhood Association wants this project, saying it helps protect its values. Laurel Bryant, the president of the association, explains why some may not support it, though. Because the homes have been used single family for so long that the change is very difficult for our neighborhood because over the years developers have been amassing lots and just allowing the properties to lie vacant. And of course full coverage of the meeting tonight will be bringing you la that later on this evening on Color 10. Putting crime into focus for you, we have some information about a deadly shooting out of Howe County. Howe County deputies responded to a home on County Road 6790 in Moody, Missouri around 2 a.m. Saturday morning. Deputies found one man injured in the shooting. 39-year-old Nicholas Hudlow of Caulfield, Missouri was rushed to the hospital, but he later died Saturday night. One man has been arrested in connection to this crime. In news around the Ozarks, one VFW post is trying to ease the financial burden for some veterans to go on honor flights. Auxiliary members of the post 3404 hosted a bottomless soup fundraiser to help out. The funds usually help pay for a guardian's seat on the flight to D.C. And every veteran must be accompanied on that trip by a guardian. That's the guardian's job, is to make sure our veterans have a wonderful day on their trip to D.C. Carol Roush is who you just heard from there. She also told us they raise about $350 at each fundraiser. 
The Missouri Job Center is hosting a couple of hiring events tomorrow. At Home Care will hold open interviews for nurses, caregivers, and other positions Tuesday from 1 to 4. That's at the Missouri Job Center's main location on East Sunshine. The Job Center will also host open interviews for SIMOs, which is hiring for warehouse positions from 1 to 4. At the Job Center's north location on Robertson, make sure to bring your resume with you. Today from 9 to 2, Ozarks Technical College will hold a surgical technology open house event for prospective students to learn more about the program. The event will be in the surgical technology operating room at the college's Springfield campus in Lincoln Hall. OTC's Allied Health Department will host tours of the lab as well as a question and answer session with instructors. OTC grads around 20, graduates around 25 surgical technology students each year. Well, as tax season begins to pick up, Drury students want to help you prepare to file this year. Today, from 4 to 8 p.m., Drury students will provide free tax prep through an IRS volunteer income tax assistance site. The annual service is open to the public and is designed to benefit low-income taxpayers while also giving business students hands-on experience working with clients. The service primarily accepts walk-in clients. The clinics will be held at the Breach School of Business Administration on Drury's campus. And if you have a drone, maybe you've been waiting to fly it a little bit, you can now have more options to do so when it comes to places to fly. The Missouri Department of Conservation will allow drones to legally fly above the Conservation Department lands as long as you get a permit. On Friday, the Missouri Conservation Commission approved the new policy. It requires that drone flyers request a permit, but approval is determined on a case-by-case -case basis and could take up to a week to come through. Still ahead for you this morning on Daybreak, some unhappiness among those that have filed their taxes so far. That's right, and a new Coca-Cola flavor for soda fans out there getting set to launch. We'll have the details on that coming up. From Color 10 Ozarks First, Lauren Barnes, Joe Morano, and weather with meteorologist Elisa Raffa. This is Color 10 News Daybreak.